In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really elegant and clean corner window that's not going to have anything in the corner. It's just going to be complete glass. Now, this is also going to be fully customizable and adaptive. Let's go. Quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. That's where you can find all of my Revit courses. And if you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be. That's where I take the extra time to go slowly, step by step and explore all of the complex topics inside of Revit. Also there, you can find some of my customized Revit templates. You can find some really high quality parametric Revit families and we also have a plugin which might interest you too. Okay so now without any further ado let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit and as you can see here we have just a blank project and let's start off with placing some walls to get our corner. So I'm just going to go here to the wall tool and then let's set the unconnected height to 3000 millimeters and hit enter and then let's just create that wall hit the skip key a couple of times and there we go. This is what that looks like. Actually, I'm just going to select both segments and make this a 300 millimeter wall just to make it a bit thicker. Okay, so once we have this in place, now it's time to make our window. So this window is going to be, as I said, adaptive and customizable. And for that, and for the fact that this is a corner, we have to actually model it as a curtain wall. Now that's going to have some benefits, it's going to have some drawbacks, but it is, in my opinion, the best solution. So let's go then to the wall tool. I'm just going to open up the drop menu and scroll down to the storefront uh, curtain wall. And then you just want to come in here to the corner and before you place it, I like to just adjust the base offset. In this case, let's go with 400 millimeters and then let's adjust the unconnected height to 1800 millimeters. Hit apply and now let's place it. So let's make it 800 millimeters on this side. You want to hit the space key to flip it to the outside and then let's create a new segment here like this. Hit the escape key a couple of times and there we go. Now this obviously doesn't look that good. We have that ugly corner, we have this wall segment here, so we do have to make some adjustments. And for that I like to go to the 3D view, let's zoom in, there we go. And now first let's take care of this wall corner. So for the walls unfortunately the curtain wall is going to cut it to a certain extent, but after that it's just not going to cut through the wall edge. So what I like to do is select the wall, go into edit profile and then use the pick lines tool. And here you want to be careful. So what you want to do here is just find, see how this is kind of that top edge of the wall. You want to pick that. So not this side, I like to pick this one and then lock that in place. Then you want to find that here and then lock that in place. Find it here, lock it in place. Okay, so once we have that, let's now go to the split element tool, split it here, go to trim and extend, and then you just trim and extend like this, and I think that should be it. So now when I hit finish, this is what we have. Now the other side looks fine right now, but I actually like to and kind of make that, that same approach here so we don't accidentally have some issues in the future uh, when we adjust the wall. So let's go here into edit uh, wall profile, pick lines and then use the same approach. Make sure you lock that in place on all sides. Lock that in place. There we go. And then split element, split it there and then just trim and extend to finalize the opening. Okay, there we go. This is what we now have. Okay, now it's time to get rid of the ugly corner. So let's use the tab key once or twice to select one of these. Tab key again, hold the control key to add the selection. Then you wanna unpin both of those and then you can just delete those. There we go. So now we have this gap and we have this glass and it just doesn't look right. And also let's switch this to realistic. I think it's going to look a bit better and a little easier to understand what's going on. Okay, so this is the situation that we have. And as I said, I don't like it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to create a new panel. So for that panel, let's go here to the wall tool, expand the drop menu, and let's now pick out one of the walls. Let's pick out the generic 200 millimeter type. Then 
you want to go into edit type, duplicate, and let's just call this wall glass. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oops, one more thing. Let's go back to edit type and to structure, and let's make this 25 millimeters. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm just going to place one segment here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, that looks right, but the material is off. So this should be glass. So let's go back to structure and make this glass. Okay, apply. Okay, there we go. So this is the wall that I actually want to place here. Now I'm not going to be placing it manually because that doesn't make any sense. So what I'll do is I'm just going to use the tab key to select one panel, use the tab key again, hold the control key, select the other panel, unpin both of them and then go here and instead of one of these system panels, you just find that glass wall and there we go. So now we have an actual glass wall and see how that gap is gone and it looks clean and elegant. And that's what I like to see. Now I'm just going to delete this one because we don't need it anymore. Now a couple of more things when it comes to adjusting this. So uh, if you want to uh, if you want to change the position of that glass, see how it's now basically here in the middle. You can always go to location line and then you can adjust it. So here if I type in 20 millimeters and hit apply, see how it moves out a little bit. Uh, we can do the same thing on the other side, so 20 millimeters. So we have that adjustment if necessary, you can do that. Also, you can change these mullions. So if you're not happy with the mullions, uh, you can go here into edit type and then you can, oops, not the mullion, you can actually select the whole wall, go into edit type and then you can actually change the mullions here, especially the border ones. So these you can change. So let me show you just how you do that. So in this case, let's say you want to have the mullion follow the exact thickness of the wall. So let's go down here to families in the project browser, open that up and then search for curtain walls. Okay, curtain wall mullions, expand that here we have rectangular mullions and we have a couple of types. So now I can right click here and then go to duplicate and let's call this our new type. Okay, double click, open it up and then here you see you have the thickness which is 150 millimeters. Let's say we want to make it 300 to go the entire length of the wall and then here we have the thickness which is in this case 50 millimeters 25 plus 25. Now let's say you want to adjust that you want to make it a bit thinner so for example let's go here with 20 by 20. Okay hit apply okay there we go. Okay so once we have that in place let's now select that curtain wall again go into edit type and then here for the border mullions I'm just going to change them to new type there we go, this one here as well, and this one here as well. So all border mullion types will be the new one. Hit apply, okay, and as you can see, now that spans the entire thickness of that wall and it looks a lot more elegant. And also I would like to move this glass a little bit outside towards the edge of the wall. So let's change this to 60 hit apply, let's see, we can even go with 80, I think. There we go, I think this looks much, much better. And remember what I said about this being adjustable, if you decide to move this, it is going to move the wall with it, but sometimes it you are going to have some issues like we do here. So let's move this wall again, and make sure we lock it in place again. So sometimes Revit will give you issues like that, but Okay, now it's working perfectly. And if you perhaps want to change the angle of the wall, you can even adapt it to that. So if I go here into level one, I can actually select the wall, select the curtain wall. So just use the tab key here, let's see. Okay, there we go, select that, go to rotate, and then place the center of rotation here at the end point of that wall. And now you can actually change the angle of the wall and it will not break that 
window it is going to stay the same so I think it looks really really good so there you go that's how you can make this really clean really elegant corner window inside of Revit if you want to get this Revit project file or any of my other Revit project files make sure to check out my patreon page which I'm going to link up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above that's where I place the project files for all of my Revit tutorials I have over 500 files so far and I'm adding new ones with new tutorials. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.